Hi everyone, welcome to another tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use Coursplay to empty out a combine harvester and drive it back to the farm silo. So we want to get into a tractor. Um, I have my carding tractor stood right here with the trailer attached to it. So to set up a course, we need to, first of all, open the Coursplay hut, which we do by pressing the right mouse button. Here we go. So the mode we want to be in is the combi mode, empty combine and offload. This mode acts like a drive from here to there and when the combine is full, empty it out. So if we click that mode, we can start recording the cores. So we start up the tractor and we press the start record button. Now, a good tip with course play is when you start recording a course like this, the first three waypoints, you want them to be in a relatively straight line. So we have one course or one waypoint, two, three, and now we can start actually turning. So you don't want to turn uh, within the first three waypoints, at least not a lot. And another good tip when you drive, make sure to drive on the right side of the road. Uh, depending on the map you're on, well, that may be the left or the right side, depending on if it's a UK style map. But that is not only if there's uh, AI traffic, also if you have several course play courses. So what we want to do here is we want to tell the tractor to drive this course when the trailer is full. And we want to tell it to unload the trailer into the tip point here. So all we do is we drive across the tip trigger and back to the field. Here we go. So because I am staying to the proper side of the road according to the AI traffic, I can have several courses on this road here. And now we want to head into the field. We do that here and we want to end up 10 to 15 meters away from the start point, which is just about there. And we stop the recording. So now we have a course. And seeing as we're in the combi mode, we have this button here activated. This button is the combine search or manage combines. This is set to automatic search, the find combine. I could set it manually, and I could choose the combine, the actual flow, which is there. But I'm going to set it to automatic. If I had been outside, if I had recorded this course outside of the field, out here in the grass, for instance, I would have to set it to automatically and choose the combine that I wanted it to look for. Seeing as we are inside the field, I can set it to automatic search and it would automatically scan this field that is inside for any combines. Now if you were working with several combines inside the same field, you could choose to set it up manually. But seeing as we only have one combine here, I'm just going to go for this. So here we go. Um, let's save this course. And we're going to call it field 25. If I could type anything, come on, there we go. Field 25, actually let's go like this, field 25, grain, carting, and return to save course. So now we have the course over here underneath the globe. Field 25, grain carting, and let's put that into the field, oh it's field 23, sheet, ah oh, it doesn't matter. Uh, it is field 23, not field 25. But it doesn't matter, it's okay, we can have it there. Actually, we can go ahead and delete it. And go back to this one again and say field 23. Brain carting. There we go. And let's see again. Yes, field 23 grain carding. Let's put that underneath the field 23 folder and we have it here. 
So we're ready to go. Now, if I'm going to press start or drive course now, the tractor will drive up to the start point here and drive the course and return to here. Instead, what I can do is I can turn around here and go behind the last three waypoints which we have right there and I can say nearest waypoint start course at nearest waypoint now if we look in this one here and we click that one you can see the nearest waypoint will be the one here so in fact if I just go back a little bit like so the tractor will start at this waypoint here and drive up to the stop sign and wait for the combine harvester to be ready to unload the combine harvester is unloading or is this tractor is going to drive behind the combine when the combine is 50% full now we don't need it to be at 50% I think we should probably put it at 80% I can press the plus and minus button here or I can use my mouse wheel to scroll so at 80% it's going to drive behind the combine and then the drive on at 90% setting this means that if the combine harvester reaches the end of the field and it's about to turn around and go on go down the other side and this trailer is 90% or more full it will not turn around with the combine and go back the other way it will drive down here and start the course back to the silo otherwise if the combine harvester is in the middle of the field and unloading the trailer will continue to drive alongside the combine harvester until it's 100% full however if there is a stop in the course it will stop at 90% or more so it doesn't need to be completely full to drive the course to the silo so that is pretty much it let's have a look and say drive course so you see it will go to the stop sign here and my cat is uh, meowing behind me and it says no combine in reach and let's just have a look that might just be because the combine is not actually ready to unload yet the second the combine is ready to unload there we go waiting until fill level is reached oh that was because the combine was actually outside of the field when it was turning around but it has detected the combine and it has now shut off the engine so it doesn't use any fuel which is a nifty little feature that's a new feature for farming simulator 17 I don't seem to recall that in farming simulator 15 but it is now waiting until the combine is full a good tip as well if you are going to use course play and you are going to use course play for stuff like this I advise you to turn off crop destruction crop destruction will ruin your crops if you use uh, course play um, in farming simulator 15 when you use course play um, the crop destruction mod would detect that it was a course play driver and it wouldn't actually destroy the crops however in farming simulator 17 that option is not available so the crop destruction mod will destroy the crop just so you know so a good tip would be to turn crop destruction off but let's wait here until the combine harvester is full and now it seems like it's detected that the combine is ready for unloading so if you look down in the bottom of the screen it says drive behind combine so now it's going to drive up to the combine harvester and it's going to position itself underneath the pipe and follow the harvester down um, its course until the combine harvester is empty of course so let's follow it here now the speed of the tractor you can adjust if you go into this one speed limits you can adjust the field speed is currently set to 24 kilometers an hour I could raise that or lower it depending on what I want the street speed is set to automatic from course max 43 kilometers an hour so it will drive in the same speed on the street as I did when I recorded the course the same goes for here speed from recording so now it's going to position itself underneath the pipe and the combine can unload without stopping uh, 
and let's see how much we get from this here. Quite a bit in that grain tank on the combine, huh? It fits this trailer quite well. So more than 50% full from one load. Wow, more than 60, more than 70. There we go, 73% from one load of the combine. So waiting until waiting position is free. Now the tractor will now drive in behind the combine harvester on the same course as the combine harvester is driving, as you can see here. The reason it does that is it is trying to position itself outside harm's way. So if we were, for instance, to have driven the other way, we would have been driven inside the corn or inside the grain uh, in here in the planted area. And if we didn't get out of the way after we were done unloading the combine, we would have been parked out here and the combine harvester would have been blocked when it came to us in the next run. So it tries to position itself where, so it's outside of any cause. And, um, and that's a really good feature. Now, we could sit here and wait for the combine harvester to be full again. Or we can go into this one, say drive now, that will trigger the course play to drive to the silo. So let's go ahead and press that. So now the course play driver will drive over to the start of the recording, that one there. And he will turn around and try to drive the course as best, the best he can, which we will see here. And you can uh, set up course play if you want it to cover the, the load when you're driving on the road, which it does, which it is doing right now. And you can even set up if you want the, the beacons to be turned on as well. Um, beacon lights on the street, yes. And I think it's in here. Or is it, is it in here? I can't remember. There's somewhere that you can set it to manually set the, um, the cover of the trailer. I can't seem to find it now. Well, I guess it doesn't matter. So he reached the tip trigger and it's now unloading. There we go. And he's going to return to the field, or is she? I think it's a girl, isn't it? It's a girl. She's going to return to the field and wait for the combine harvester to be ready to unload again. And she's going to turn in here and drive up to the stop sign and wait for the combine harvester to be ready to unload. There we go. So there you have it guys. That is how to set up course play to empty out your combine harvester and drive it back to the silo without you having to do anything at all. So I hope you enjoyed this little video and I will see you in the next one guys. Bye for now.